Hello everyone, I represent All Abam's Creations. It's been quite a while, yeah. I've been a bit busy and I had some challenges with my filming. But thank God I'm back. Now today, I want us to see how we can cut a four pieces kit. There are so many ways in which we can cut it, but I'm just going to be showing us one of the ways. I believe you will enjoy the tutorial so stay with me till the end if you are yet to be subscribed to my channel just click the subscribe button it doesn't matter just click it it's just a way to encourage me i have these six yards of material as a matter of fact this four pieces kit i'm making I want to make it into a gun. These are some of the basic um, equipment we need. We need our scissors, our tape tool. I have my tailor's chalk. Here is my paper scissors. I have my long ruler. This is another type of ruler. I have my pan scoff. This is my pattern master. The first thing I'm going to do is to try and iron out the cloth so that i can have a very smooth um, fabric to work with length of my gown is 63 inches my half length that is my shoulder to waist is 16 inches you subtract 16 from 63 inches you will have 47 so i'm going to be adding two inches for my seam allowance. the length i'm going to be using here is 49 because i'll be needing half an inch to join it to the bodies and uh, i will also use one and a half inches for the end no i said i need a length of 49 inches so i'm going to be cutting that 49 inches twice and i place it on fold half 23 inches so i'm going to be having 46 inches for my hem you know this is on fold so this just for the front and i will have another one for the back so the first thing i'm going to do now is to divide this my 23 inches into two that's 11 and a half inches i'm going to be finding the midpoint My waist circumference is 38 inches. 38 inches divided by 2 will give me 19 inches. So that means all together here, I'm supposed to have 19 inches for my front. Okay, this 19 inches has been divided into 2 now to give me 9 and a half. That 9 and a half, I will further divide it to give me 4 3 quarter. That's 4.75. Turning from here to here now gave me nine and a half. Nine and a half times two will give me 19 inches, which is what I needed for my waist. So this four three quarter, I'm going to measure it all through. I've measured four three quarter on both sides up to the end. The next thing I'm going to do now is to measure my dart. So I'm going to be taking one inch for my dart. That's half inch on both sides. You know the original measurement was nine and a half. So I added one inch for that. Then another thing I'm going to do now is I have to determine my waist to hip. You know originally my waist to hip supposed to be um, eight for an average person, but because I'm a bit tall, I normally use nine. But now. I'm not going to be using 9 because I've added to the length of my skirt. My skirt length on a norm is supposed to be 45. But because I'm joining this skirt to a gown, I added 2 inches on the upper part. That's why I have 47 for my, for my skirt length. From my waist, I'm going to be leaving out half inch for joining to the upper bodice. Then I will measure 11 inches. So this is my waist to hip. My hip is 47. So for me to have is I'm going to be using 48 inches for my hips. So 48 divided by 4 will give me 12 inches. I will not be distributing the hip 
measurement just like I distributed for my waist. I'll be measuring the hip towards one side. This is the initial waistline that we choose. From here to here is nine and a half inches. So from that side, I'm going to be measuring 12 inches. Remember, we add a dart of one inch over there. So I'll now use either my hip curve or whatever I'm going to join to my waistline. Now, I need to measure my waist to knee. My waist to actual knee is around 24, 25. But I'm not going to be placing my measurement on that 25. If I place it there, I won't be able to work properly. So what I normally use for my waist to knee, if I'm making a skirt, either six pieces skirt or four pieces skirt or whatever, I normally use around 20 inches or 19 inches because I'm a bit tall. If you are not as tall as I am, you can make use of 18, 18 inches. So let's assume I want to make use of 19 inches. Remember, I've added two inches to my uh, skirt length at the top. So for my, my waist to knee now, we give me 21 inches. That 21 inches plus half inch for joining, that will give me 21 and a half. So I'm going to be picking my, my waist to knee at 21 and a half inches. You will see. And we are here to add sewing and that one say, normally, I'm supposed to have 12 inch here but because i want it to be a bit curvy i'm removing one inch from the measurement so i have i have 11 inches i'm going to be joining from the hip to my knee area you can see that it's becoming curvy before i join from knee to my hem i need to add seam allowance so i'm going to be adding one and a half inches seam allowance if you like you can add two inches if you like you can add one inch for the knee i'll just add one inch seam allowance you can see me joining the allowance from waist to hip and then to, to the knee area so from the knee area i'm going to curve it out so this is the front then we need to add half inch that we are going to use to join it at the center here so i'm going to add half inch across board from waist to me i added my seam allowance i will now lean from the knee area to my end i'm going to cut it and use this to to cut the back piece we are done with the cutting the front part of our four pieces skirt and you will see that this kind of four pieces skirt is not the type that you just fold into two and then you cut it has a little flare both at the front and at the side we are going to fold the back the same way we folded the front and we are going to just place it this is our front i have placed the front part on the back side i'm going to be tracing it up the difference between the front and the back part of our four pieces skirt is that the back part has a zipper allowance and i'm going to be adding zipper allowance here here from my waist to hip i have around 11 and a half just measure like 13 inches then i will add my zipper allowance here so i'm going to be adding two inches for my zipper allowance i'm going to be adding just like half inch to join it so from here i will now trace and cut we are done with the cutting of our four pieces skirt and as you can see the flare is both in the front and at the side so as to avoid a very sharp end there i will move up by like two inches here i 
now shape it so that I will not have too sharp an end. So you can see our skirt is really, really looking beautiful. So I'm going to be cutting a lining for it and then I will join it. What I'm going to do, you know, for this front part, so I'll just join it with half inch here. For the zipper, I will, I will join it here, join it to the base, and then proceed to join it to the upper part of my of my dress to make it a dress. Watch out to see the final outcome. Of the 